America, free money utopia. That's what we'll be talking about today. It surely is a utopia for guys like Elon Musk. I'm pretty sure America is now a socialist, communist ut utopia. Yeah. Or is it a nightmare? It's, it's hard to tell. I mean, really, for some people, it's a nightmare. But for many people, it's like Elon Musk and Dolly Parton, it surely is a utopia. Let's go over a few more names that are living the dream. Living the dream. The utopia. Pearl Jam. You got the Eagles. Guns N' Roses. Tool. Nickelback. Uh, really, Steve Munchkin's father. Kanye West. Wow, the list goes on. And I hear even um, the Church of Scientology. Wow, like the search of... The Church of Scientology does not have enough money already. It's ridiculous. I mean, some of Nancy Pelosi, if you're if your family member to Nancy Pelosi, these people are already billionaires. Ivana Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, if you're connected to Donald Trump, you got free money. Everybody's on the gravy train. Now, this is an old story. I realize that all these people who got these Hundreds of millions of dollars. I realize this is an old story, but there's something just breaking, a new story just coming down the line that I want to talk about. And that would be a new, new programs just coming out by the deep state. These are brand new programs, and these are directed at companies that already shut down. They go down all the way to your littlest tiny bar in Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, who knows how tall. It, it goes from Elon Musk all the way down to the littlest, tiniest bar in the Bronx or Brooklyn. If you shut your bar down or you shut your company down in the last year, the government's going to give you money to open up. I mean, give you free money to open up. This is a utopia. Now, I talked about this. I'm, I'm making sort of a video diary. I have another channel. You may not be aware of it. It's uh, called Recca the Ruins of Mecca right here. I'm talking about things that I do during the day. And this is where I found out about this new program. So go over there to Recca the Ruins of Mecca. And uh, there it is, Recca, Recca the Ruins of Mecca. Re Recca the Ruins of Mecca. And you'll be able to see some of my new videos I'm putting out. But I talk about this new story, and it's this is really silly. Free money, America, free money, the utopia. We are now seriously a socialist, communist shithole. That's for sure. Anyhow, uh, that's all I got. Thursday, April 29th, 2021. What is Bravo Von Mueller up to today? Well, uh, Bat Cat is still hanging around. I don't know how many years ago I was taking pictures of Bat Cat. It's a wild, feral cat, just runs around, you know, wherever it wants to go. When it first got here, it was really, really shy and timid. I couldn't, I could hardly get a picture of her. But now she's more calmed down. I don't know, two, three years, but Bat Cat is still here. And it never, ever ceases to amaze me when I'm driving around town and I see people with their face diaper on in their cars. They're, they're driving around in their cars. Not a single person in the car with them. Not even their filthy, dirty animal dog in the back seat. Nobody. In there by themselves and they got a mask on. It never ceases to amaze me. They walk around in the broad open air. I mean, is there anything more fresher than open air? I mean, doesn't the sun kill the germ? Open, fresh air. And these people still have their mask on. I mean, this is the power of TV to brainwash morons. I swear to God, this will go down in history as unprecedented. How many idiots do we have in this country? And around the world, everybody seems to be a moron and idiot. But anyhow, this, this video is about Bravo Romula!
not the idiots. No, not the idiots. And I must tell myself that bad habits are hard to crack. I mean, I've been going to Sam's Club since I lived uh, I, in San Antonio, Texas. I was there for a short year, the middle of 85 to the middle of 86. My boss turned me on to Sam's Club down there in San Antonio, way back when, when it was cool. Today, Sam's Club has nothing but bad employees and third world managers who have ruined the, ruined the place. I mean, Costco has sea bass. Yeah, Costco has sea bass. Sam's Club has noisy forklifts running around at peak customer hours. Yes, Costco has friendly Caucasian employees. Sam Club, well, you, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Bad habits are hard to break. Yeah, just recently I've been going to Costco. I went there a couple of times, and Costco's is bigger, better, cleaner, and a better neighborhood. I'm, I'm a lot more impressed with Costco's than Sam's Club. And then Sam's Club, whoa, you get the free jab here. What? Available here at no cost to you? We're going to jab you. Jab you with some experimental God knows what, and it's all free of charge. <laughs> Oh, man, at least I get a good laugh when I walk in Sam's Club. They, they want to jab me, and it's free. It's free, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, it's good to be in America. And the treats kept on coming today when I walked out of Sam's Club. Look at this. What is it? And I got 64, 65 Ford Falcon. Oh, four-door. I love these old cars. I really do. I am a sucker for old vintage cars. Beautiful. Anyhow, on a side note, we had a family member who flew in to Vegas this week. Uh, they're from the Brooklyn area. They're also an Uber fanatic. And lo and behold, not one, not one single Uber driver at the airport when they landed. They were forced to go old school and hail down a taxi. The taxi driver told them that the Uber Uber drivers are still on un, unemployment and they're just not ready to go back to work. Can you imagine that? I didn't realize Las Vegas is there's no Uber drivers in Vegas because they're still on unemployment and I'm not ready to go back to work. Yeah, damn, it must be nice. Free money just floating around. But pretty soon there's going to be helicopters flying around Vegas. I hope so. Helicopters, catch that money. I'll be out there catching the free money, hopefully. And at the end of our conversation today, I'll give you another story about free money. Oh, you're going to love that one. Please stay tuned. That's a beauty. It's a beauty. So what else did I do today? I went to a bookstore. Not very many bookstores left in Las Vegas. They're, they're dropping like flies. Uh, I'm a book fanatic myself. I love books. And... I went in here to this bookstore. It's on Rainbow up there on the north side. Rainbow uh, picked me up a few things, traded in a few things. Uh, but it's nice to go to bookstores, I think. I also, what else did I do? I also had, I got some, I had to get some locks or keys made. Uh, we lost some keys. My wife lost some keys. So we, I had to make, get some keys made. So I was going to go over here to the, uh, Lock place, locking, what is it, Liberty, lock and security. I was going to get some keys made. They're really good in there. They're good at making keys, but unfortunately, they close, in, they close at 4 o'clock. Got there a little late. Can you imagine? What is it? The, the virus is out. Everybody has to close early nowadays. Because the virus is out there. we got to close at 4 o'clock. I mean, the world's upside down, is it not? I sold a couple things today. Because us right-wing fanatic nutcases, we don't get free money. No, they don't give free money to people like me, so i got to sell a painting. I, this one did not last very long. It was only up there for like four or five days. Uh, it's a big, it's in the style of mid-century modern style, but it knows a new, it's on canvas. It's really just a print on canvas, but it's got painting in her, uh, there is like some painting going on there. Hey, it's a beautiful blue painting. And for $40, it was a steal. A good deal for the lady who got it. Good for her. And I also sold some books. Uh, yeah, not very many people buying books, but this guy, he came in. He bought these 36 Christian books. He was going to send them to his mom in Ohio. Good for him. 
His mom is a Christian. A lot of Christian evangelicals on the Ohio River. Praise God. She's going to love these books. They, I gave them to him for $35, 36 beautiful books. Again, good for him. Offer up people getting good deals from Bravo Formula. Yes. And now, drum roll, please, for the story of the day. Talk about misallocated assets. Oh, wow. When I heard this, I about had a conniption. Unbelievable. Apparently, the liberals in the deep state government are now going to give out seven hundred to 800000 Some people are going to get a million dollars, I hear, but I know somebody who's going to get over $700,000 to reopen their bar. Now, get this, okay? The government and their, uh, the, our illustrious leaders in the government who control our taxpayer money, or better yet, they control the Federal Reserve notes that they just fling off the tree at warp speed. Now we have Federal Reserve notes being created at warp speed, apparently, because we can give these people in Brooklyn who closed down their bar because there's no business, we can give them now seven, eight hundred thousand dollars taxpayer dollars free of charge please open up your bargain just to open up the bargain we're going to give you seven hundred thousand dollars can you believe this shit almost a million dollars of federal reserve notes free here you go just open up again and get people drunk one million free dollars so people can go get drunk in brooklyn yeah so you wondered what in the hell was wrong with america well there you go